plug down on because okay. what cause these these are machined anyway and the, and it's the, to the same gauge right so you're making sure and it's nice and straight what i'm doing is i'm making sure it's parallel yes down yes i can see and it's on the rope on the rotary table okay so you can lock that down yep. oh that's it lock it down nice and uh, now what i've got to do i'm just going to eye it up you know with the slots yes and the and sometimes if you can just get it down just, just so nice and level Right, so you're actually levelling up this bar against the slots in the bed, I assume. Like there. Yeah, it's it's a lot longer. That doesn't look easier. too bad there, actually. Yeah, yeah. Well, if it's out by half a mil at the end of that bar, it's going to be out by about a tenth of a mil on the actual yolk, on the yolk itself. Yeah, isn't it? so. that's pretty good. That there, yeah. it's, Hang on, you know, to why with your your face is here. Yeah. I mean, you get your bars on there. I mean, don't. I mean, the bars could. Oh yeah. Um, I mean, a tenth of a mil. Could be, you know, a, a mil. Even if the, if one bar was a couple of mil out at one end, no, no. I think you'll never. Uh, it, it, it would take someone. It takes no, Steve no. Austin to yeah, spot yeah. that. Yeah, but as you can see, we've got <laughs> the marks here all inscribed on, which tells you but, where to drill. So he's all ready to rock. What I'm going to do is get my centre drill now on yeah, that, and yeah. then I can work. And then I come along. I'll get one here, one here. Yes. Because the bar clamps, I've, I've just fitted snug. I didn't want them overhanging. Oh God, no, no, no. And no. I thought I want to keep them as wide, yeah, as okay. apart as possible. In fact, we we'll go over here now. Do you want to just? You can sit one on and. Uh, well, let's just see. And we'll do it. Right. Okay. So we'll do all this and stitch you and thread them on here. Right, yeah. So if we sort of pretend it's about there, where well, that line is there, or some, I'm not sure where you're going to be. There, there is it. Uh, what I've done. Is that about right? I think I just got it so that the, it was just level. Yeah. Yeah, that that's yeah because that's the centre line. Yeah. So yeah. I, I thought yeah there. they're, they're going to virtually be. Okay. And in a minute I'll show you the bars. There. I've got some rental bars, black <laughs> aluminium bars to go on here, low yeah. rise. So now, so of course you can't really tell, but I've got them. I brought them along. So you're going to drill. <sighs> what I need to do now is get my first point. On the reason I've done this is it gives me an idea. Yes. So. It, you know where you're going. I know where, you know, it gives you an idea yeah, yeah, yeah. that you don't mess up. Think, ah, what am I doing? Right, OK, so we'll let you do that now. So let's, <laughs> I'll, I'll come back in a minute when you've done that and then we uh, can see what's next. I feel like we crap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you will. <laughs> right, so since the drilling of the top yacht's going to take a while, we'll span the camera around and see what's going on with the frame. So as we see, we've got that test. Is this a test one or is it the actual? Well, these these could be your cases. My I cases. don't. I, they, they, I'm they, not sure. I think actually, yeah, this was this one that I'm going to have. Um, and you've got your new billet mounts here. Well, yeah. we've got yeah, they're, they're all done. Well, yeah, we've got our stainless steel, yeah. very uh, nice, a marine grade stainless steel uh, studs here uh, in place, front and back, and at the bottom here. And we were saying that there are even though the spaces are actually made very very accurately, the problem we've got is. When the frame's powder coated, the thickness of the powder coat can be quite an issue because then the blue spacer doesn't fit. So you've got to think about that. So these are these bottom ones here. Well, that, 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 one, that, that one's a fraction. Yeah. The thing is, if if it's powder coated and we put them in and it still rattles, we'll we'll just make another one and yeah, yeah, yeah. tell it just spot on. The, yeah. the, the beauty is, is we'll make it so it just slides. Yes. It's just you know maybe just like a, so you just push it in with yeah, your hand yeah, and then yeah. put the bolts in. I mean the alternative is, is, which a lot of people will do, yeah. is they'll grind off the powder coat. Oh where, no where no. Mounts. And the problem with that is it's just a rust spot. It's a rust spot. It's, it's it's a, you can do it in California but not in the UK I'm afraid so we'll have to yeah. get around that. Now if it's yeah. good enough for enamel it will it, yeah. will, it will stand up to the... Okay so that's will. in place now. Uh, so what else were we up to then while this was in place? Is this what you're doing? You, you, you're just kind of setting it up, make sure you've got the spaces I okay. Ju I, I've just got everything. Well, actually, I put it on so I could work this out. Yes, place oh, out. yes. That, yes. That's what I've done it yes, for, get it all in. That's the exciting thing. Because, so now, do you ah, know you're going too quick, you're going too quick. Oh, again. sorry, go Let on. me come round the side and we look at what's going on on that side. Around here. Around mm. there. Right, hang on. Oh. Right, okay. Oh. Okay, so we're coming round to the side now. Squeeze in and looking at this bit of cardboard, Jeff. It, it just gave me an idea to, for the size of piece of aluminium that we need, you know, yeah. to get the outrigger in. So um, tell us about the outrigger. What's it for? Well, you don't have to have it on. No, no, I do. Uh, but for people who don't know I, what an outrigger I, is, what it, is it? it all ideally, about? you put a bearing uh, support, a bearing and a cap. Yes. And usually, if you've got a sprocket, yes, off, been it done. supports on either a shaft or something. It takes out the strain. Yes. Off your output bearing. So basically, what we've got uh, is. If you think about it, the drive sprocket from the gearbox sticks out normally and just ends and drives the chain. Mm -hmm. 
But when you've widened things out a little bit, or when you've got a lot more power, that puts a lot of stress on the bearings on the that, bearing. that support that drive sprocket. Um, so what we can do is we can extend the shaft out somehow and uh, sit it on a on another bearing on the outside of the sprocket. On the sprocket. And of course it's got to be yeah. held in place by a plate which is bolted to the rest of the bike. Next question is how are we going to extend or how are we going to do it to extend that shaft to carry that extra bearing? The, the, well, uh, on the comp bike, uh, uh, th there's a couple of ways. Yeah, which um, are? Which are? You can, you can get a dish sprocket yes. uh, that supports. The only snag is with them, when you bolt them on and tighten them up, yeah. they can sometimes, they never run true. No. They're absolutely... Well, normally, they run a little bit, you can move them, can't they, put on, uh, on the um, and, uh, shaft? Years ago, what someone said to me is, he said, well, just lock tight the nut and nip it so that it floats, and then you put your bearing in. The only trouble is with that, eventually, it can chafe it can it can fret sorry fret. It, it can knock the spline yeah unless you've got one hell of a big area of spline yeah, yeah. You, you, you're going to be in but okay. so how are you going to do it how are we going to do it how are well we got to extend that shaft somehow you can drill a shaft and we might not need it we might not need what? to do it because you can actually get a zzr dish sprocket right 530 chain yeah uh which might be okay for this, but we could just make something up so it looks like it's got it on. No, no, I want it to work. Uh, I, want to I want to have it. Right, well, we'll make because something that does... No, I'm just asking, yeah. because I can't remember now. In the past, when you've done these on Les's bike, on other bikes you've done, how do you... What what goes through that... Well, we have, we have a stub, a stub. That, that taps in. Uh, it, on, on your sprocket, you, you, you can either have a bearing, the design, the dish sprocket, if it's big enough, tap a bearing in and then you can either fit a solid stub in there on a on, on a flange that pushes into the bearing in the sprocket right. or you can put a stub into the sprocket that has a Extension. you know like a shaft on it like say yes. that yeah. and then you slide the bearing on and then you can actually see the shaft right turning so the shaft it, this that extends is not attached to the shaft of the gearbox it's no. attached to the actual sprocket yeah. Right, okay. That's and it's one. getting everything to run perfectly. Perfectly. And that's, that's a difficult bit. That's, that's why I can't that's do it. That's the very, di it's very, very difficult. Okay. And here we have the, the material. It can be done, yes. but we're... What's that? Is that half an inch, is That's it? half inch, Half yeah. inch, about 12 point whatever. 12, well, it's 12.7. 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 yeah, so that's going to be sitting, roughly speaking, there. The thing is, when I did our Leslie's, yeah. he, is he's shaped to, to, to this? Yes. And then I think we just finished it and then just sort of curved it round. Yeah. Man, this is in because you've got to clear the starter motor and yeah, stuff yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it's 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 how you'd want it done. Yeah. Whether, whether you'd want it to virtually that that most of that I'd have to hand file. I'd have to hand file and mm. you know to try and um. or you could do something like um, we can we can draw it on one. You know we could put a a, a thing across and a spacer. We could sort of. Go up like that, and then you know actually leave a yeah, little it, bit out. For, for, for me, it doesn't you know, have to follow. You know, leave a, yeah, yeah. But you'd still see a bit of your chain. Yeah, that's fine. There, that's fine. I'm happy to do it that like, way. So I mean, come round, come down at an angle, and then yeah, come back. I'm not sure if you can see that. Uh, yeah. No, I'm happy for it not to follow the line yeah. of the. For for me, it's something you don't need, and maybe it's trying a bit we too can hard. Sort of we can actually keep it into flowing with that here. Yeah. Yeah. And maybe from there we could just. Yeah, maybe just, take it up a yeah, little bit yeah, yeah, like that. Yeah. You can just do a straight yeah. line for me. It can be straight lines yeah. rather than nice curves. Because we'll have our gearbox bearing and yeah. thing here to come. I mean, back by the time the it's going to have the slave on it and whatever, yeah. <laughs> well, I've got to find them. Yeah. Yes. Well, I've got some somewhere. Yeah. So. Well, I've got to buy some anyway. I think yeah. I'll get an Oberon one. I've so, seen an Oberon. About eighty quid for an Oberon. Oh, so like slave. you say. Um, Let me pull that back. We can't. Uh, okay, so that's what's going on at the moment. Maybe I'll come back next week. Yeah, yeah. So maybe we could. If we've got our disc thing in there, yeah. if we say we come round and then it goes to about there, and, yeah. then, and then up to there like that, yeah. you know, I know that's a bit yeah. crude. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Yeah, and then come okay. down. Okay, so let me go around here now, we'll come back, and I'll tell you about what's been going on in a minute, just a minute, da, 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 da. let's have a look, let's stop that. Okay, so what, we've been busy, I had these for quite a while, they were for another bike, different project but they've, they're going to do. These are Renful low-rise uh, aluminium bars made not too far from here. You stop for I think actually. So the black, satin black, so I could well be using these bars. I 
Uh, we all have our little. Yes. Did, I, I prefer. I, I don't know what it is. I think some chrome ones would look oh, nice. Chrome, chrome, don't get chrome, your own. Man. No, chrome, don't get your own. I think certain little bits of chrome. Oh yeah. On a on a on certain well, not o overdone. No, no. But I, I think chrome bars would look. Well, we'll see. Personally, I would think they would look we'll nice. We'll see. We'll see. But I have actually been busy. An expensive week. It's been an expensive week because I've ordered quite a few things for the bike. Would you believe? And should, one of which should be here today, but it's not arrived yet. And what I've ordered is side panels and a rear seat unit piece ah. for a Z1000 A1, i.e., the bike that this is supposed to be looking like that matches the what, standard one. Yes. Ah, yes, yes. It's not gonna. It's that might be too wide for it. Well, this is what we're gonna work out. If it's ah. too wide, we'll have to come back to it another day. Well, well I'm, I'm assuming. I, yes. I, I, well, I don't know until well, I'm until hoping we get it. Be able to sort of flex it a wee bit, but yeah. we'll see. If it, needs to be, if it won't fit, it won't fit, and we'll, we'll go on from there. Mind you, even them Z bolts that that guy does might be too narrow. Yes, because yeah. we, you know. Yes. And the other thing I've ordered, custom, and they're still being made for me this week, at great expense, is a pair of remote reservoir shocks for the bike. Ooh. Yes, very expensive. Ooh. I did get a small discount, but not much of a discount. <laughs> and uh, when they arrive, it's going to be my crimbo present to myself oh. for the bike. I mean, retail are about a thousand quid. So, um, yeah, they're going to be very, very nice. You have to wait and see what they look like when they arrive. And they are being built to the standard length of a ZRX 1200, which is 365mm, which is quite long actually. But since I've got a I said our X-Wing arm, then it made sense to go for that. And they're all black, mainly black. So uh, it goes with the black theme, black engine, black frame, black Black, black tie. Yes, black, black, black. E even black the swing tie. arm's going to be black. As far as the paintwork is concerned, I'm not sure yet. Um, um, black frame. Yes. And green. Oh, I know you like your green, don't you? Like your I think that Kawasaki green is well, the right colour. I've been looking at different colour really schemes. Do. I've been looking at different colour schemes for Kawasaki's. And there are about three or four like. And there's one I've seen that's a US only colour scheme. It's all black and it's got some gold pinstripes on it like this. It's really nice. So I might a go black for that. tank? Yes. Mm. I don't know, I know. Oh, I don't know. I... Black. Oh, if not black, I might go for a very dark yeah. metallic blue. I think, that, that so. I think blue. either a blue, like a, a metallic blue, yeah, would look yeah, nice. Yeah. Yeah, uh, so or maybe... green. Or what? even like a, 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 a maroon, a deep red. Oh, no, no, not even red. No. I thought you liked red. No. Yeah, bright red. Oh. Yeah, I mean, all my bikes. Oh, no, not bright. A lot of my no, bikes, the recent the last 10 bright. years have been red. Yeah. I mean, my Ducat is red. My Blooming, well, mind you, of course it's red. My Tuala is red. We've got my Guzzi's is red. Yeah, well, that's like a straight. Yeah, it's a very bright red. I think they did a Z650 with like a metallic -y deep red. Oh, yes, yeah. Did, did like maroon, yeah. And I think our Lazzy's is um, Mark II. Yes, it is. Yes, it's red. Color. Yeah, but it's got gold as well. Mm. Very dark, dark sort of metallic yeah. red. But then, but then, I got me Norley painted black, the classic black and gold, British classic sort of look. I love it. I, I love think it. that looks, looks really right well. with that feather bed style frame. Yes, right. because it's got a lot of polish on them anymore. Well, but this one I'm not sure yet. So it's going to be a darkish colour. I don't think, that, personally, no. I don't it, think it Well, will, it won't be bright red. It won't be bright Kawasaki red, no. that's for sure. Fire factor red. I'm not sure what to do yet. I might go for that classic, sort of like the yellow the panels no. and all that. Don't know, no. don't know. But we've got to see first if, if, if this new seat is going to fit. Yeah. I've also got to find a seat for it as well, but that's a different matter. We've got to yeah, um, say there's certain things. So, yeah, so that's what's happening so far. In terms of the front end, we looked at that just now, and you dug out something from your loft that I gave you about five years ago for something else, and I think it might come in handy. So let's look at that now. Okay, so we're now back at the bench, and here we see those forks we showed you last time round. And Jeff, a very observant viewer of my YouTube videos, oh. told me what they were off. And it's either an RF 900 Suzuki or an early 1200 GSF Bandit 1200. Well, I did mention. Yeah, I, Suzuki, I did yeah. mention yeah. that it so could it's not a Yamaha be, Suzuki, uh, and that's very handy uh, to know because it means I can now get the bushes and and the yeah. uh, seals if need be. Now, the thing you dragged out from your attic, from the deep, deep dark recesses of your attic, is this. <laughs> Let's see it. And what is it, Jeff? A Brembo. A Brembo. It's a four-pot Brembo. The ones I like. What we've got to do Ducatis. now is see yeah, how it's going to work. If we can get yeah. that, yes. a nice bracket off yes. there. That's right. To they, they actually they cost the camera. <coughs> yeah. Now another fact it's... I can give you is the standard discs. Looking the... at them there. Yeah. 
they, they, uh, they look quite well. They they with a, a nice bracket will look pretty damn good. Um, pretty damn good. Now then, good news is, having checked the spec of an RF nine hundred stroke twelve hundred bandit, yeah. the discs for these things were three ten mil. Right, which is quite so, small. Quite quite small. So what I can tens. do, is, yeah, three tens, yeah. So what I could do is go and buy some new three tens. I think what we need to do is set something up first. Get yes. a caliper with pads in. Yeah. And I think we need to get. So what we can do is make a disc and bolt something in, and then put the disc on, and, and then make sure it fits. Yeah. And then work it out. Yeah, because because you don't want we don't want it looking hanging down or whatever. Yeah. yeah. No, anyway, another thing, of course, that folks might not know well, is if we have three twenties, it doesn't yeah. matter. Uh, yeah. Three twenties. I'm still. just telling you. Now these. Yeah. I like these because, yeah, they're great, the Brembo's four pots, but these can be two different kinds, don't they? Two different styles, which is the, I think it's There's 60 a big mil, the yeah, 60 mil it's a big one. and 40 mil. Yeah. And that refers to the distance between the mounts here. This is the small one, the 40 yeah. mil, and the bigger one is 60 mil. And these we like because being close together, it means you can get the damn thing in between there. It gives you the chance. A very right. good. If they were 60, chance, you'd be struggling. Yeah. You'd, you'd be, be struggling, able, yeah. It would be very difficult to do. So we yeah. like these. Now I can pick up a pair of them rebuilt, good as new, for about two fifty from a specialist, a, a, a Ducati specialist. Yeah. Or I can gold, buy gold, obviously gold, gold of course, yeah. yeah. Or I can buy a brand new set, and they're about um, I think they're about two hundred and ten quid each, but they come completely with pads and everything else. So you know, the question is, do you spend four twenty on brand new, or do you spend two fifty on reconditioned? I don't know. But don't with know. pads or. Yes, with pads, yeah. I'm not, I'm not sure about the pads, but I'm tempted to go for brand new because it's... I also have problems with bloody second-hand stuff, even if it's been rebuilt. And I think I can get a discount as well. I think I can get a discount off that price, but we'll see. If you can get them for, if you can get them for about 400 quid oh, for yeah, the pair. Yeah, yeah. And of course, the reason for that is because I've got a similar Brembo, a single pot rear one for the back end, so that's why I need to have a matching set. Um, now, but that said, that said, as I mentioned just a minute ago, I've just spent a lot of money on these rather beautiful rear shocks and that's my christmas present to myself so i need to swallow that cost first and then maybe we'll wait until mm -hmm. early next year um when i can afford to buy some new uh, calipers and whatever so yeah things are happening but um assuming that i do use these which i will i guess the next thing to do is work out what disc we want and if we've got the clearances and whatever it's not so much what this well obviously the diameter of disc what we're yeah. what we're going to work out I, yeah. i'll make something up um that we can get the discs yeah. central to well, the Well the good spindle. news is, now that we know and, that they're um, from a Bandit we can 1200 or an RF 900, um, we can look on eBay and see if we can find a blooming spindle for it. You can get a spindle, but obviously you wouldn't want to get the calipers. No, 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 but and you still need the spindle. No, but I'm saying, would it not be worth getting a pair of them calipers? Yes, and um, what, what the no, standard no, ones? Yeah, um, you could probably get a... No, 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 no I don't want them, no, no, no. No, no I'm just thinking, because it's safe. Yeah, I think they'll bolt straight are, on yeah, and then... No, 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 I think, then... I think they're a uh, Nissan, I think, Nissan. Mm. Four pots, something nice enough, probably. Probably very, yeah, you've... you've had it might be Nissan. the same ones as I've got on Minoli, because they're Nissan. Ah, yeah. Because they're, they're the same era, so yeah. mid-90s. But no, it's going to have to have... Brembo's. Brembo's, Brembos. yeah. It's even going to have a Brembo master someone as well. But I anyway. think some people like to see little differences yeah, and yeah, yeah, modifications. Yeah. Well, I want, to, I want it to fit them, but without yeah. showing it off and saying, look at this yeah. amazingly polished, yeah. drilled bracket mm. that everyone can notice. I want it just to be there, and, and it's just hiding away there. And if you notice it, you notice it, and if not, then it's no great problem. Yeah, so, so that's sort of progress to date. Oh, and oh, go on. What we'll, else? we'll go back what yep. I've been looking at. You, you're not, you, you'll like it, but you won't like it. Go on. Is the stems. Yes. Uh, because we got two in your hand, so what it is is with Kawasaki is they have a sh different bearing size. Yes, it's you a said, very yeah, you said last time. odd one. Yeah. Some some had like thir 55 thirties. Yeah, the Cal most Kawasaki's of a certain age, air cooled yeah. uh, GPZs and yeah, yeah. Js and stuff. Like mine, yeah. And some Z650s. They have a twenty eight fifty two. Yeah, okay. On the bottom, top ones are usually the same, but it's the bottom ones. Yeah. Uh, and obviously the Z6. This is a 52 bottom, mm -hmm. 52 28. Yeah. We have a stem there. Yes. But it's too long. Right. And the stem that, that fits that's just the right length that, that would be perfect. The end has been sawn off. Oh, and who did that, Jeff? Who did that? <laughs> and I've had that obviously for some. Yeah. Now, it's, it's in the I spoke, list, I, I spoke speaking to Lister. What yeah. we can do with that because he's still got the thread for the just about. Nut, yeah. What we need to do is put something in it like that. Right. Where but, if we could screw. 
thread that, screw yeah. something in, then it's going to have to be dialed up, machined to suit the top yoke, and yes. then drilled okay. and a nice stainless nut. nut put in. Okay, sounds good. That costs money. Not a problem. See, the only thing is, if you if you grip it there, it's it's not. It'd be difficult. You've got to dial it. We want it obviously. Spot to within a thou, you, yeah, yeah. you want to be with at least a thou yeah, or two, yeah, you know, yeah. on something like this. Yeah. So why is it uh, a problem then? If I'm just well, that, that's a drawn finish, and yes. you might need to forge your chuck. Mm -hmm. If you put that in a three, you might be very lucky to get that to dial All up. Right. To, well, we're going to see Mr. Lister, and you know, he'll help us out. But for a small feat, no doubt. Yeah, for a small feat. If we. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We can do that. We'll just uh, right. Okay. So we come to the bike. <laughs> yeah. We come to the stem there. We can now so, sit. If, if you get that, yeah. Where. Yeah, that's where the bearing, yeah, it's far give too, or take, it's far you too can tall, see actually yeah. where that, it's way too the much top there. bearing would be up there. Yes. I think that's how the GPZ 1100. Oh, strange. So it uh, must have a very long neck. Now, this, this is the same bearing fittings, but if we get that in line there, yeah. and then we get that one in line there, you can see how it's, yes. it's, in, the, it's very in, the ballpark. in the ballpark yeah, yeah, for what yeah. we want. Okay. So... Get that done then and uh, we need to, get well, the bearings in. Well, what we can do with that is put a nice stainless end piece yes. on. Yes, so, uh, so it looks nice. Uh, so it, it uh, and then we might have to make it, well, I'll have to make a sleeve up. Yes. Because the hole in the oak's bigger. It's too big. So yeah. we'll have to make a sleeve, which is not, which is no it's problem. not a problem. Yeah. It's just yeah. more work. a bit more work. More expense for me, but never so, mind. But that'll be... Needs work. Well, that's 25 mil. I was thinking if we can put something like, um, if we can thread that and put something like... Uh, screw it in, go in quite deep. Yeah, yeah, it's got to be strong, hasn't it? Um, I've got a three quarter mm -hmm. UNF high tensile bolt. Okay. And I'm thinking if we can thread that in and fit it right in below where the bearing is, screw that in and super duper lock tight that. Mm -hmm. And then what we need to do then is we can then machine that and then put some like a nice 12 mil. Yeah. I don't want a UNC for on the damn no, thing. No, if we can put like a nice 12 mil hex. Well, I've probably top, got a 12 mil. Um, you know, like a, squ a hex. Yeah. I think I think something on this sort of bike. I think like a hex. Yes. It's up to that. No, no, no. Up to I'll, you, I'll uh, go for that. You know. I don't want a UNC thread on the damn thing. No, so. no. We can put a 12 mil. Yeah, on it. Stainless. Um, yeah. Top bolt. Okay. In it. Okay. Right. We'll start now. Okay. So now coming at the back end, it's sitting here on the floor. Uh huh. And I was just reminding you that there's something else to do yet, which is to make the torque arm. Mm -hmm. And you just admitted there's a slight problem, or you've had a slight issue. Oh, oh hang on. Yeah, that's the thing. That the... Ooh, that'll have to have a little... Uh... That's an eight, that's an eight mil. I can always get a bigger one. Yeah, well, What size is that one? Uh... Is it, it's, ten, is it? Is it well, ten? the hole in there. Well, what we could do is make a tiny little steel sleeve to go in it, just to take it. Oh yeah, just take, take yeah, it. I think that'd probably be the yeah. the easiest thing to well, do. Well, a steel one, not, uh, not an aluminium well, one. Well, we've made that. Yeah. Obviously, to go to there. Yeah. And it's virtually when that's virtually vertical. Yeah. Can't seem to. Hang on, let me do hold it. Yeah. Our other rod end, when it's in there, yeah, will be virtually a few threads you know in in the ideal position position yes, and then I threaded them didn't I yeah and then suddenly realized that that's a left-handed thread oh <laughs> not good <laughs> oh well is that, uh, my, is, is that my fault by giving you them uh, no it's just it's just one of them things I, 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 we, yeah you don't think they just yeah, think... I, I, what, all right okay what the for worst things happen at sea well I've been yeah I think what these are let's have a look were they off a go kart track rod steering? I think things? so. Yeah, yeah. What they are, if you're if you're setting up, if you have a, a hex on the bar, me, uh, you can nip yes. both Ends. lock nuts off. Yes, yes. And then by turning the rod, yes, you can extend it. You don't have to undo them off no. the eyelets no. to to do your adjustment. Yes. But on a track rod on this here, you're not going to change it, are you? It won't, you, it won't be. Once it's set, yeah. So move it. what what we're going to have to do is get another right. Hand All right. All right. <laughs> so go no, no great loss. I might have one. I might have one at home. You might have one. Because you can. I might have one somewhere. Because I'm like you. I have to. Yeah. If I need one or two. I buy five. You know. So we'll see. We'll, we'll see. Okay. So with that small problem, it's not. It's not, it's not pretty, I just thought you know. But as you, you can see there, we've got that Brembo caliper on there. And that's why I want to have. Spend more money. That's why I want to have calipers. Yeah. Brembos on the front as well. So yeah, but I noticed because that, that must have a ten mil. 
I mean, you could get a 10 mil at that end yeah. if you wanted. All right, we'll have a look. I'll have a look then, what I've got in stock. I'm wondering now, that might be a bit small. I might have to, I could make another one of them. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter. No, no it's not a big Not for it. time. You know, we could either put a 10 mil at that end. Yeah. Put a ten mil on uh, it. And, uh, well, let me but, have a look. But what I've I might got. have to do is, if I make a rod, I might just have to leave it a bit fatter there. Yeah, where so, the ten then, mil. Well, you can slim it down, can't you? I could slim it down, yeah, yeah and then leave okay. it at that. Sounds good to me. Right, so with that, this video's going to be quite long now. You can see yeah. there's quite a lot going on. Yeah. And next time I come back, in a, maybe next week, maybe even one day, we'll have a lot more done. Um, yeah, I'll have those rather beautiful and very, very expensive rear shots. Oh, shocking! And buckets. maybe even the side panels and the rear. Um, tailpiece which may or may not fit it may be too narrow for the frame now we've widened it but i don't know i'm hoping it's got a little bit of flex in it but we'll see we'll see and with that jeff it's time it's to go good home. night from him and it's good goodbye from me. from me and good night from him is okay it? and there you That's go the so thanks for watching and cheers